Hello guys, the next question for today. India while multiplying its economy, the progress on HDI is not very appealing. Examine. So, the question is about the paradox situation in India. On one hand, we are growing faster in our economy. And on the other, on the other hand, our ranking on HDI is not very good. We have to examine the situation and write an answer about it. The introduction can be, while well, India became the third largest economy in terms of triple P, India's ranking on HDA, that is 2020-22, it is 131st. And this is the lowest among other neighboring nations. This is a worsening situation. So, in the introduction, we have discussed about the paradox. Now, in HDA index, what are the indicators? It has three indicators education life expectancy and standard of living and basically this particular index is developed by mahboobul haq and amartya sen they both are the economists of pakistan and india respectively now what what are the reason reasons for india's dismal performance in hdi first reason increasing income inequality it affects the access and affordability true and as per the oxfam report income of 84% household in the country declined in 2021 and the number of billionaires grew from 102 to 142 this is during this covid period lockdown period 84% of them they lo- lost their uh, income whereas the number of billionaires increased in india this shows the inequality the level of inequality in india now the second reason can be gender inequality women uh, per capita income is only 21.8 percent whereas as that of male so women it earns only 21 percent of what male earns while it is more than double at 49 percent in other developing nations so other developing nation women uh, women's per capita income is around 49 percent this is ve- uh, and india's case is just 21 percent which is very very low due to exclusion from labor force why this difference or disparity it's because of the exclusion of women from the labor force now the next reason can be Cumulative impact. What is this cumulative impact? Spillover across generation. So all these impact, they smaller smaller impact, they combine, they accumulate, and it becomes a very big factor. It's the intergenerational cycle which denies opportunity to those at the bottom of the pyramid. These are the major reason. Now, what are the measures? How can we rectify such situation? First one, fair income distribution. Example: South Korea and Taiwan improved income distribution through early land reform so income distribution should be fair and then investment in social infrastructure like universalization of education health care etc streamlining of finances rationalized targeting of subsidies so we have to streamline the finances also good governance reform Performance evaluation of project, outcome budgeting, all these things are some of the good governance reform. And then gender empowerment, invest in gender equality and women empowerment as these are the integral part of human development. For human development, we need gender equality and women empowerment. Now how can we conclude this question? India's Hajjai score can be substantially enhanced how if government rolls out inclusive policies that strengthen public health education nutrition and end gender discrimination to usher in more egalitarian order so this is how we can conclude the question thank you